up you guys welcome back to my channel my name is Brianna if you are new here then don't forget to subscribe today's video I got a request a couple weeks ago to do a what's on my iPhone sort of like updated I think I did one in 2018 I definitely did one last year and so here we are I figured I'd do another one somebody asked for it so we're gonna do it why not but yeah that's all I got shortest intro ever so if you're interested in seeing what's on my phone iPhone iPhone 11 Pro yeah <laughs> keep watching okay so this is my lock screen I recently changed it Wow, oh, I have a lot of notifications changed it I used to have it as the blue background for Galway so if you go back to watch my one from last year you'll see that my background was a picture of Galway this is my background right now I'm just moving it so it doesn't sleep so it doesn't fall asleep <laughs> but I just found this picture on Pinterest I thought it was really cute and cool and I love where the time is like in the sky so I thought it was cute so super fun so I have a face ID so I just unlock my phone you can see my background is like a summer sort of vibe I've got some palm trees and a sunset super cute so first page is sort of basic, so we'll go through that really quickly. I'm gonna try to make this video under 20 minutes, hopefully, because there's a lot on my phone. I know I wanna just like get through it, but on the front page, basic stuff. My text messages, Safari, my calendar, my mail, the Weather Channel app, which I think is way more accurate than the Apple weather app that they give you. So if you want something a little more accurate, the Weather Channel, it's super cool because you can also get rain alerts. So it'll alert me about 20 minutes and tell me the exact time that it's gonna rain so I can like pack my stuff up if I'm outside and just like run in. Chrome, because I prefer to use Chrome over Safari, just notes, maps, all that. Then I have the stuff for my watch, which I'm wearing, just my Apple Watch, the activity, and then I also download a sleep watch, which tracks my sleep every night, because I do wear my my watch to bed, my clock, and then I have all of my, my stuff that I don't really use in this folder. This is utilities, so reminders, contacts, waste memos, all that kind of stuff. You can see what's in there. Nothing special, there's no second page. It's just stuff that I don't really use often. Calculator, my app store settings, blah, blah, blah. Then I have a little camera folder that has all my cameras in it. So my regular camera, FaceTime, Clips, which I still have not figured out how to use, and Google Duo, which is like a FaceTime for anybody that doesn't have an iPhone. So for example, my mom has a Samsung Galaxy, so we use Google Duo if we want to face chat, um, and she can't use FaceTime. Then I have YouTube, of course. Sorry for all the red notifications. I have a lot of stuff to kind of go through. <laughs> Normally I like clear my notifications immediately because it really, really bothers me when I have those little badges. So YouTube, then I have all the social medias that I use every single day. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. I mean, I moved TikTok to the front page, I know, but it's something that I use pretty often. Maybe not every day, but pretty often. Then I have Pinterest. I don't use that super often, but I just wanted to have it with the rest of the social media. Ways, which I use anytime I'm going on a trip, which I haven't been since March. Um, and then my Amazon Alexa, which connects to my Amazon Alexa in my room upstairs, and I can just like program things to her and like track my act activity on there, I guess. And then I have the basic apps on the bottom, which is my phone, my photos, iTunes, oh, not iTunes, Apple Music, and Spotify, which I use almost every day. I'm pretty sure you spot by every single day. Okay, going on to the second page where it's a little bit more crowded and a little more interesting, I guess. I have YouTube Studio, which I feel like I might move to the first page and maybe switch it with Waze since I don't use that all the time. But I do use YouTube Studio often. That's just to check like my stats, how well my videos are doing, subscribers, that kind of stuff. Shazam, which I love. You can Shazam any song. I'm pretty sure you guys know about Shazam. Time Hop, which I haven't, I don't think I've opened in like over a year. So probably about time to get rid of that. A little Verizon folder, which is just my Verizon and my Verizon cloud, nothing special. Then I have my money folder, which is like all my banking apps. So Citibank, I have a Discover card, a Chase card, PayPal, Venmo, Cash App, which I don't really use anymore, Cash App, Bank of America, which I don't use anymore either. And then the Tab app, which is actually super, super cool. I don't know if you guys know about this, but this is a super cool app. So I will open it up and show you. The Tab app is so cool. So this is a way, oh, you can see my feet, sorry. This is a way for you to actually split a bill with your friends. It's super easy. So you would do new bill, then you actually take a picture of the receipt or the bill and basically what you would do is you choose what everybody got so i don't know if i have any saved well i do here we go so this is for my birthday brownstones we went to um here on long island so i took a picture of the bill and what we did was there was three of us that went and we actually like split a couple things so what i did was i took a picture and then i chose everything that i i had 
So I had a side of loaded potatoes, I had a white boca, French toast bites, and Nutella. And I would literally just put that under my name. And then if you see, it says the top one, potatoes, was shared with Chloe. So what I did was with the potatoes, I put my name and my friend Chloe's name, and it actually split the total for us. Super easy, super great app. Download it if you are ever trying to split bills or receipts with your friends. It makes it way easier, and you can even put the tip in, and it'll tell you how much everybody owes for tip. And it literally, you can actually connect your Venmo right to the app, and they can Venmo you the exact amount. It's so cool, so easy. I love this app. It's super cool, so if you have it, check that out. Check out Cab. And then I have my food folder, which is like, again, nothing super special. Starbucks, Dunkin', Panera, Yelp. Uber Eats, you know, anything like food related, any places that I go like relatively often. Starbucks and Dunkin' are obviously at the top because those are the ones that I use all the time. Lunch money is from a grad school thing, which I probably can delete. I'll do it later. All right, then my camera folder. This is a huge folder. There is a lot in here. All of my editing apps, I use different ones all the time, but for the most part, I have Visco. Everything on the first page is something that I use pretty often. So Visco, Facetune, I'm getting better, I know. Unum, which helps you plan out your Instagram feed. I think I've talked about that before. Lightroom, which is super cool for editing. I'm sure you guys have heard about that. Preview, which is like Unum, also like shows you your Instagram feed so you can help plan it out. Flash Air is so that I can get photos off of my camera, which I'm actually using right now and I will maybe use later. Fuji, you guys know about that. Layout, if I want to like put more than one thing together. Um, Rumini, which I'll get back to. Boomerang, you guys know. Eraser, which is to erase the background of any photo, which is sick. PS Express, I don't remember exactly what that does and why I have it, but I have it. Photoshop Fix is super cool because you can actually remove an item out of your photo or remove like your person in the background. You can, like, just erase them and it'll erase them from the photo and it's super cool and has some really cool features that like Facetune doesn't have. Airbrush, which I don't use at all and I probably should delete. Story art, which is cool for making cool Instagram stories. Voloka, which changes your voice for TikTok. InShot, also to edit TikToks or edit little videos that I want to put on TikTok. So back to Rumini. Rumini is really cool. It's an app that will actually help clear up a photo. So let's say you and your friends take a photo and it comes out like kind of pixelated or kind of blurry. Throw in Rumini, clears it right up, makes it look relatively good quality and you can save your photos that came out a little blurry. The next folder is my sharing folder, which again, this was more for like school and stuff like that, but Dropbox, Google Drive, files, which is just like basic, and then Google Docs for when I was in grad school and I needed to access stuff on my phone. I can do that at any time. Then I have my shopping folder. It's also a very full folder all kinds of things. Keyring is like loyalty program stuff is in there. Target, Amazon, I've influenced your Rebel Nail, which is the stuff for my nails. Price Pulse, which is super cool. It's actually will tell me when the price drops on a product that I'm watching. So for example, if I'm watching like prices on pimple patches and I'm waiting for the price down a little bit, I put it in a price pulse and it'll let me know immediately, oh my God, it's the lowest price it's been in three months or they lowered the price, whatever, whatever it is. Any product, super cool price pulse is, I love it. It gives me a notification immediately and then I can buy at the right price on Amazon. CVS for or like pharmacy stuff. Pink Nation, which is Victoria's Secret Pink, I don't really use too much. American Eagle, which I love shopping on their app. Forever 21, Groupon I don't use. Sephora, I can probably delete, I never use it. Ulta, barely use it. Boohoo, Wish, Shein, which I've been using a ton. This top is from Shein. I love it, it's cute. I'm AliExpress, which is similar to Wish, but I haven't used because of COVID. Things have been taking forever. Honey, which is, you guys I'm sure have heard of, is it helps you save money on things when you're buying online. It has all the best codes. Walgreens for like printing out photos, like to know it. Just, I follow a couple people that use like to know it on Instagram. Shop Tagger, which also gives you cool codes, and Etsy, I've been buying a lot of stuff on Etsy recently, trying to support those small businesses, you know? The next folder is a money folder. This is, I will probably get rid of this when I can reach up, but this is cool. These are all apps that help you earn money for basically doing nothing and just like taking little polls and stuff like that. So Google Reward, which is the first one, is the absolute best. They give you polls that are questionnaires that are like relatively high earning. So you can get like 20 cents from one questionnaire 
and at two dollars you get to bank out so at two dollars goes right to my paypal automatically it's great don't use that as much because the surveys typically tend to be super long drop you guys have probably heard of you just get points anytime you spend in any of your favorite stores you literally have to do nothing zap surveys just taking more surveys getting money that one you can cash out at 25 so it does take a minute to get there panel app i have yet to cash out cash out app but you literally get stuff for going places like I go to Starbucks and then it'll ask me about my Starbucks visit I guess so I get points for that and Eureka which I downloaded recently which is super cool you can cash out $10 so it makes it a little bit easier and they make uh, daily questions and daily sweepstakes so you can actually win like $15 on a sweepstakes for just answering some questions okay next is the miscellaneous folder random random ass stuff I'm not even gonna go through all of it I barely touched this folder to be honest it's just random stuff honestly the gift wrap is probably the one that I use the most like I can go in there and go get gifts and save gifts which is so fun I totally forgot my Hamilton app was in there but we'll go to that and another honorable mention is fonts which is super cool because I downloaded this app and basically what it does is it puts it onto your keyboard so it's kind of hard to see I don't think it'll show you here but you can try fonts so it'll put it on your keyboard let's see if I can get it to you here we go come up so I click on fonts here it is and I can type in any of these crazy fonts which is super cool these are all the languages I can type in any of these super cool fonts which is cool and they also have a premium version but like ain't nobody got the money for that you know and for the most part that's pretty much it I don't really use much in that folder I'm a travel oh my god they updated the Long Island Railroad app fun so this is travel anything that has to do with it so Uber, Lyft, Long Island Railroad, gas, prices on flights, Airbnb, Skyscanner that kind of stuff I think it's just easiest to keep that kind of stuff to together I and mean, if I know I want to take an Uber I know it's in that folder I told you there was a lot on this page okay next folder is tech so random tech stuff like in my household so smart life is like my smart plugs in my room JBL connect is an app for my speaker which I, I never use but you can make like custom light shows and stuff on it which is cool my Nutribullet which I don't use either but I can make like recipes and track certain calories and smoothies I make I guess fire TV which is actually the remote or can be a remote for my fire stick and my TV upstairs. The Yamaha is for our speakers outside, so I can control my music outside in our backyard. And the HP Sprocket, which I actually don't know where my HP Sprocket is, but that's to, po to print out like little photos on the go. My jobs folder, not much, <laughs> just LinkedIn. I actually, I should move my other app in here. I have another job app in here that I can move, but just LinkedIn. That's it, which I guess I don't really need a folder for one app, but there it is. Games, which uh, your girl was playing games during quarantine, all kinds of stuff. HQ, which I like really don't use anymore. Song Pop and Song Pop Live, which is fun. You know, just guessing songs as fast as you can, which is like my kind of game. Dancing Line, I haven't played in a long time, so I don't remember. Diner Dash and Cooking Dash, which is super fun. I got super far and I stopped and I like kind of want to get back into it. Song quiz, kind of like song pop, but song quiz you play against your friends, a little beer pong, unlock my car, which is super fun. Unblock my car, sorry. I used to play a game like that, like on a little board when I was younger, but it's cool that they have an app for it now. The Sims, which I barely play, and a maze, I don't know, just some cool games, I guess. Then I have my, my concerts folder. Let's just like take 10 seconds, like a moment of silence, please, for the concerts of 2020. Okay, pull yourself together, Brianna. You guys know I'm a big concert goer. This is like my favorite thing to do, and obviously 2020 has put a stop to that, so I have not been going to concerts, but this is my concert folder. It's just any and everywhere to get your tickets. Yeah, nothing crazy, but that's that. Then I have my home folder, which is just some home things. So Ecobee, which is our thermostat for upstairs, controlling our air conditioning. I have an app for that. Fios, which is just like, you know, Verizon Fios. And Ring, we have Ring cameras outside, so that's so I can see our Ring cameras at any point in time. Then I have a Stony Brook folder, which I can probably get rid of. I'm just waiting to get my diploma before I get rid of the Solar app and group me. So group me, I have a bunch of friends on there, um, and the other day I had to ask them a question about my diploma, so um, I'm just keeping those for now, and once I get my actual diploma in the mail, I'll be able to get rid of those, but those are there for now. TV, so anything TV related, I don't watch TV on my phone, but I don't know, I just have these apps because I wanted to 
create the account on my phone and logged in and now I just use it on my TV. But Apple TV, HBO Go, Hulu, and HBO Max, which I have been really liking so far. If you guys haven't seen Love Life, mm, so good. If you guys want to see like a little HBO Max, like what to watch, let me know. I think I'm going to do a Hulu one next week, so, you know, stay around for that, stick around for that. Keep an eye out for that, all of the above. Okay, then I have Workout Women, which is like super mini like workouts, like seven minute workout, eight minute workout, stuff like that, but like, <laughs> I barely use it. I don't know if I've ever used it, honestly, maybe once. Alarmy, which is cool. Alarmy is like, they can give you like certain little, like tasks to do for you to get up. Like if you're somebody that struggles to get up in the morning, Alarmy is the app for you. They make you like solve a math problem and then you're like awake, you know? Fix, which I haven't looked at in a while, but Fix gives you reward points for literally just listening to music. So you just connect your Spotify and you get points for any time you listen to music. So that's cool. House Party, I'm pretty sure everybody knows about House Party by now for quarantine. Helps us get through. Shortcuts, I'm not going to go into that. You can do a little bit more research on that because there's a lot. Um, but Shortcuts helps me with certain little things. So for example, I can tell Siri to like play music from Spotify and the reason I have that is through Shortcuts. It just creates shortcuts for you. That's it. Okay, last and final page. Not a ton here. Flush, which is the coolest app. I have yet to use it, but like I also, by the time I downloaded it, like I haven't really been in the city. But Flush is cool because Flush tells you where all of the public restrooms are near you. So if, for example, in the, in New York City, it's super helpful. If you're in an area where you're walking and you're like, wow, I really need to use a bathroom, it'll show you like all the Starbucks that have public bathrooms or any other areas that have bathrooms that are literally open to the public that anybody can just like pop in and use. And it's super great. And I think it's like the coolest app ever. I just remember I was like walking around with a friend. I was like, I wish there was an app where you could just like see a nearby toilet and Lo and behold, they that it existed. There it is, flush. It's great. The next folder is selling. There's nothing crazy here. Just Poshmark and Mercari. Check out my Poshmark app shop if you'd like. Just search my name. And Mercari, I don't even know if I have a full account on there, so maybe don't search me on that one. <laughs> Tribalist, which is cool. Tribalist helps you make lists for certain things. So for example, I have a ton of lists of TV shows. So I have the shows that I love to watch or shows that I binge really quick that I thought were good. I have a thriller list, comedy list maybe, I'm not sure. Maybe I'll make one. But all kinds of lists. So if you download Tribalist, again, just search my name. You can follow me and see all the lists that I've compiled. Especially if you're looking for something new to watch, it's definitely on Tribalist on my lists. You can find so many new shows that I've seen that are so good. Then I have TMZ. I know TMZ is like kind of scummy and kind of like gross, but they also are the first to deliver any kind of news. So I have them and I get immediate notifications. So anytime anything big, I guess even celebrity wise, news wise, any of that happens, I get a notification immediately. And it's great because I can know what's kind of going on. It keeps me up to date with all that kind of stuff. Brandify, which is cool. I downloaded Brandify for a project in grad school. Don't know if I'm gonna keep it or not yet, haven't decided. But basically it tells you ratings of products, so it'll tell you what oh no, Brandify. I'm sorry, this is totally for now. Whoop, scratch that, rewind. Brandify tells you dupes of certain products. So you can go into Brandify, let's see. So let's say I am looking for a certain product. So here we go. Benefit Pore Professional Face Primer. You're like, oh my god, I love this primer, but it's $32. It tells you another product that's similar and then actually compares them. So here's the NYX Pore Filler and it's half price, it's $14. And then they actually kind of go through and tell you how similar it is, even like going full on into the ingredient and stuff like that. And so here you go, similarity rating is pretty high and there's some small differences, but overall very similar. So you can actually save some coin by buying cheaper products that are very similar to the high end ones. Then I have Redbubble, I downloaded that because I did get a new laptop, I think I mentioned that to you guys, and I am looking for some new stickers to put on my laptop, so I saved a bunch, I haven't bought any yet, but I'm pretty sure I know which ones I'm going to buy, and I'll be doing that at some point soon. Bizarre, which is super cool and should go into my photography folder, but Bizarre, I think it's just like helps you with text and stuff like that, and templates, yeah, it's all this kind of stuff. So there's templates for your Instagram story and simple stories, Instagram posts, and kind of want to just like change up your Instagram and stuff like that, like graduation, wonderlust, like 
There's super cool and super creative templates on here that I really, really like. I'm trying to think of what I did in here. Oh, I did some um, editing for the beer pong table in this app. And even this, like, this, this photo, I was able to put some gold stuff behind. I thought it was really cool. I don't know, I was just messing around. Super fun way to edit photos and stuff like that. Then I have GoodRx, which helps you save money on prescriptions. Kind of a cool app. I tried to use it once and CDS wouldn't let me, so. But if you're interested in saving money on your prescription, go to GoodRx, it'll tell you where the cheapest place to go and get your prescription is. Or even if your regular pharmacy, so my pharmacy is CVS, I just looked at CVS and nowhere else and it would give me a coupon for my prescription. Okay, last two, HP Smart is just a printer app because when I print right from my phone, I don't have the ability to like shrink or make things smaller or bigger. Sometimes I wanna just zoom in on one specific thing and not the whole page or especially if I'm printing out like some sort of paperwork. So HP Smart allows me to do that. I can literally crop in there, zoom in, zoom out, all that and do black and white color. And then last is Upwork, which is just a freelance app, which I had gotten on and I haven't been on in a bit. I probably should check it, but it's a way to do freelance work. And since I'm in social media marketing and digital marketing, I downloaded that to see if anybody needed some social media marketing help. And probably about time for me to check that. And that is everything on my phone. All right, guys, that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. And again, if you're not subscribed, please make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell below so that you can get a notification every single time I upload, which is pretty much every Friday. Again, if there's anything you guys want to see, just leave a comment down below. I am, of course, taking suggestions, always looking for new things to film. And, you know, I want to do what you guys want to see. So, yeah, and I think that's all I got for you guys. I'll see you guys next week for another video. Bye!